Hi friends, welcome back to Giri Filmmaking. This is me Giri. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to do double roll on Premiere Pro software. So just get into Premiere Pro. So um, this is the Premiere Pro uh, software timeline. So you, you have to arrange your video clips on the top of each other. So these are the two video clips that I want to do uh, double roll. And um, so what you have to do is on the top clip, you have to create a mask. Uh, so to create a mask, you have to go to effect control panels and uh, get into opacity. And with the, any of these three tools, you can create a mask. You can see a mask in here. So what I, what it did was like, um, it cut out the part um, I don't want from the top clip and showing the bottom clip. So I'll show that again. Um, I'll just delete this mask, which I done. So this is, and right now you see only the top clip, top video clip. Uh, so I'm going to apply a mask in here. To see that, you go into effect controls, go into opacity, took the mask out. So I'm using a pen tool right now in here. So I'm going to draw a masking in here. So this is where I'm sitting. So I just draw the mask like that. Voila, that's it. But it uh, deleted uh, the area I wanted because I am actually missing from this area. So I want that. So there's another option here. This checkbox just tick in there. See, voila. So it's done. So I'm actually uh, shown. It's, the mask is actually inverted. That's it. But the, you can see the edges are kind of like uh, clear, choppy looking. So I have to mm, feather it, like a, smoothen it a bit. So there's an option called mask feather. You go in there and increase the masking. So I didn't actually, um, the lighting was not ma bo same on both clips. That's why the problem is. Uh, so I had to mask a little bit, uh, around 430 or something like that. And that is it. So your uh, masking is done and uh, your, double roll uh, clip is ready so it's only like a few seconds that you have to do and uh, there are three important things that you have to look into when you uh, do this kind of video shoots um, you have to make sure that your actors are not overlapping so the problem is like um, you act if the actor is overlapping then you have to mask it around while the actor is moving so it's actually complicated you have to use softwares like after effects and stuff like that and the next thing is your lighting should be same on both sides because if the lighting is different um, you have to do quite a bit of masking like I do. Third thing and the most important thing is your camera shouldn't be moving. Your camera, if your camera is moving then it would be hard for you to match uh, the footage and it won't be looking realistic. Put your camera on a tripod or something and then shoot the video. Um, I'll show you one more clip before you go. This is another clip that i done. Uh, my This is my daughter sitting on five different uh, places. And what I did was like, I, I just used the pen tool to cut out where she was sitting and just uh, put it on the background. Um, and uh, you can see only one clip in here because this is the final video I bought it um, and I actually deleted the files that I used to shoot this video. So uh, it was looking similar, like, you know, because one, two, three, four, five different places she was sitting. So I used five different uh, clips on top of each other and I cut out the portions where she's sitting and pretty much that's it. This is all for today. And if you like this video, please click on the subscribe button also the notification button. Done. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.